Hey what's going on guys my name is Marufa Meme and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful curved box shadow effect using Elementor Page Builder. So without further ado let's now go inside Elementor Page Builder. Now let's take a section by clicking on this plus icon I'm taking this three column structure. Let's give it a minimum height. Let's make it to VH and make it to 100. Alright. Now let's add some background color. Go to style tab. From here background type. From this color picker, I'm selecting the color has FDFA57. Alright. Now inside this middle column, let's take it in a section over here. Now let's delete a column from here. Now we have only one column inside this inner section. Let's now select the inner section. Now let's give it a height to minimum height. I'm taking it to 250. Let's add a background color. Go to style tab. Give it a background color. From this color picker, let's select the color to hash 57CAFD. Then now let's add some border with it. Border type to solid. Width 10 pixel color to very white like this now we can add some content inside this box we can add some content inside this inner section to make you feel like it's a real content box i'm dragging this heading widget inside this here i'm typing curved shadow okay alignment to centered go under style tab text color to white then typography Increase the font size and font weight to 800. Okay, now I wanna make this heading to vertically aligned. And so do that, just select the inner column, go to its layout, then vertical align to middle. Alright, now I wanna add box shadow with the inner section. So select the inner section from style tab, here's the border. Okay, open the box shadow, scroll a bit. You know, usually we add box shadow by using this horizontal value, vertical value, blur value, and spread value. Yes, we can create regular shadows by using these options, but this time I want to create curved shadows. <laughs> and unfortunately, we cannot make curved shadows by using these default options. We need to add some custom CSS to do that. Okay, let's remove this box shadow. Here's one important thing, you need to select the most outer column and go to its advanced tab. Here's the custom CSS option. By the way, custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. I'll put my Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description. If you purchase Elementor Pro through the affiliate link, you don't have to pay any extra, but we will get a little commission for that. That will help us to continue this YouTube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this. Now, we can type the custom CSS here or we can just simply go to jimfahaddigital.com. I'll put the page link in the description. From that page, under Elementor Curved Shadow CSS, here's the CSS snippet. Let's now copy this whole CSS snippet. Now go inside Elementor, paste the code inside here. Wow, we can see the beautiful curved shadow effect here. Now, if we have a look inside the CSS code, I have set all the changeable values here like width, height, bottom, origin and opacity. Yes, you can keep the way it is, but if you want to change any value like width, if you want to change it to 70, you see it changed here on the right. But I wanna go back to 50%. Similarly, you can play around height, bottom, origin. Also let me give you another example of opacity. By default, I have set it to 0.5 but if you increase the value to 0.9, you see it becomes more visible but I wanna go back to 0.5. It looks perfect to me. Also let's go to responsive mode to check it over mobile or tablet device. You see it looks great on mobile device and go to tablet device it looks perfect all right now let's close it and don't forget to click on this green update button i hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel 
also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever we will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also, if you want us to help on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact us through our website that's jifahaddigital.com. We will try our best to help you. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.